So where do we begin? it all together. It's like any other week at work. Um, I think I was on lunch and I was checking my email. A friend of mine I was in dorms with at uni. Uh, I thought it was kind of out of the blue. I hadn't, hadn't seen him since, since after he got married. Um, he had a kid and and uh, I've gone over obviously during just after she was born to go and see her and since then it's been about five six years anyway um, out of the blue sends us uh, an email asking asking me to babysit just for the night you know if I could just kind of babysit for the evening um, they'd only be away for the night and then when they get back you know, hopefully we could spend the rest of the weekend together um, and catch up. I thought, you know, I've got nothing going on this weekend. It sounds like a great plan. So it was a little bit of a quick um, departure from them. I think I got about five minutes, uh, saw that they had left their instructions and everything. And honestly, they were just out the door. As soon as they said hi, was pretty much by. The door closes and it's just me and Pippa. Needless to say, I am nervous as ever right now. <laughs> Last time I met this child, she's in diapers and now she's a talking human being. Within five seconds, she has eliminated every sense of worry in me. She was so polite, so easy to talk to, immediately grabbed my hand like any kid. Right, let me show you my room. I'm like, all right, let's go. So she grabs, grabs us and takes us straight up to her room. And we walk in and the room is bigger than the first apartment. It was stunning and immaculate. So my first question, oh, mommy must be keeping this really tidy for you. No, her initial, straight off the bat response. No, this is all me. It's like, rah, damn kid, you're impressive. She was showing me all her teddies and her favorite ones and, and flipping through her art, like her drawing and stuff. And um, she was showing me this, this picture she had on her wall. Um, I found it kind of eerie, I did. Uh, not so much like the picture, it was, it was like, it was well drawn and, and like the colours were, were all in the lines and you could tell, you know, it's, it's, it's a face of, of someone she knew. Uh, but it was the eyes, it was the eyes, they, they kept following you, like everywhere you, you went around the room. I'm fairly sure that's tricky to do, but she managed it and it was, it was just something slightly eerie and off about it. I mean, she, again, like, she was super proud of it, so, you know, um, I'm thinking everything's going really well. I suppose about 7.30, um, this kid needs to eat. Um, what's the other way to... to keep a kid busy? Yeah, food. So we head to the kitchen, and her immediate ask is let's bake cupcakes. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Slow your roll here, child. Um, that's dessert, right? So, I'm like, okay, they've obviously either overindulged her or uh, not her, not taught her the culinary ways. And, you know, no, I'm, I'm, as a food lover myself, I'm like, right, another way to impress this kid. Winning sides, let's feed her, right? So I'm like, right, forget the list that mom and dad have left. What is it that you want for dinner? That's what we're gonna make. She picks chicken and waffles. <laughs> Kids after my own heart. Here's a soul food. I'm like, absolutely, we can do this. So I ask, 
Where's the chicken? Where's the flour? Where's all the bits and bobs? She knows where every single item in this... At six years old, I didn't have a clue. They've got a wonderful kitchen, like it's all, you know, double ovens and, and um, big breakfast island and stuff. So, so we sit down, we finish, we, we, have, some, we have some food. Um, and I indulge, give a syrup and all the, everything she wants on there. So she's like really happy, we get done with dinner. But it's like, she still wants to make these Moana cupcakes. At this point, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of exhausted, but my own fault. I get a six-year-old hyped up on sugar for dinner, so you know I gotta kind of gotta pay the price. So I'm thinking movie time. Let's get the cupcakes done. She's really, really insistent about it. So we'll get that done while they're baking. Get a movie on. Hopefully, we can get her into that like sleepy zone by like maybe ten. Leave it. Let her stay up a little bit later. By 10, she's out. By 11, I have a glass of wine. I'm out. The last. I remember sitting down on the couch, um, hearing the ding. I got up, got the cupcakes out, poured myself a glass of wine, brought them back to the table, sat down. Um, she left one of the cupcakes with a sticker, not the rest. And she, that was that was mine. That was mine. Ten minutes into the movie, everything went dark. So I couldn't move. I couldn't feel everything, but I couldn't move. I could feel the, the hairs on my arms, my toes in my shoes, the hairs on the back of my neck rise up. The two small fingers that pulled my eyelids open. And then wailing. It was beyond screams, it was darker than that, it was more sinister, it was there was rage and pleasure and joy and I was just there. I felt my head going side, side. Blood trickling. around the living room and back into the hallway I can see that this beautiful chandelier just right there hanging in the hallway lovely patterned artwork all the way around it and then suddenly I'm kind of on this incline, my feet above me, my head just starts going. And I realize I'm being dragged up the stairs. And then I just, I feel, feel this really hard, hit and I was blacked out again I was gone 
is the last thing I can, can remember before I woke up again. Hooked up to this frame, this thing that's got me upright. Some doors slid open. And I could see her. I could see her staring right back at me. I hadn't seen that face before. It was, it was Pippa, but it wasn't Pippa. The kid that had all that character was, was gone. And It was just death behind those eyes. So the following morning, first idea of my sense of how long I'd been there. They come home. Guess who's shocked that I'm not there? I'll be honest, I, there was a moment of hope. Because that I thought surely that they're going to call the police, they're going to find out, well, why, where's he gone? What, what's happened to him? Why, why, is, why is he not here? They were furious. She had the whole story planned. She knew exactly what she needed to say. Exactly how to make it look like I'd, I'd just up and vanished. I kept hearing them complain about this wine stain on the floor. I was like, I was sure, I was sure I didn't drop anything. She planted it all. I kept screaming over and over, well, how could I have left her? How, have I, how could I be so irresponsible to leave a six-year-old alone? Like, I'd leave a six-year-old alone. Do you know? Like, who does that? I tell you, she was so smart, though. She'd somehow managed to send an email from my account to his. Coming up with some bullshit reason that I had to go and he bought it. He bought it from a six year old. So that was it. That's where I was now. And you know one was coming. <laughs> and then her games began. Every morning she'd open up that cupboard just enough so I could see the clock on the wall. Showing me every second that was going by. Showing me every second I couldn't move. Every second I was hopeless. Bitch gave me some company though. That painting. Mm. She let those eyes keep me company. I can't close mine without seeing him. It's been two years since then. Luckily for me, he was offered a job elsewhere. She couldn't do anything to stop it. And she tried. She did. Pippa tried hard. 
to not get him to go. Someone must have been on my side. But every time I prayed in that room, someone must have heard. The house sold quick. New people came in. And after about a... I'd say a few days of them having moved out and the drugs starting to wear off, I started to get a bit more motion back. I could move again. Nose first. Eyelids. By the time they had moved in, to move my hands again. Oh. <sighs> Poor guys. They must have caught a fright that first night. And I was knocking on the wall. Thankfully not too much of one to not investigate. Guess who they found? So they caught fire team and oh, what must they have thought? Find a body in the wall. It's still alive. like to say 